Hey guys, Angus here. Got another airsoft video for you guys today. Today we're going to be taking a break from the guns that we normally make the videos on, and today we're going to be discussing a piece of tactical gear. Now, as you guys probably know, the past couple videos I posted, I was wearing my desert tan loadout, and in that loadout, I was wearing the specific rig that I am wearing now. On those videos, I got quite a few questions. What rig is that? Can you tell me a little bit about it? So I figured I'd go ahead and just make a full video review of the product. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Bull Molly Lightweight Airsoft Chest Rig. If you're interested in purchasing this product, there'll be a link down below in the description to flectarn.co.uk, which is a United Kingdom based site where you can buy the product for about 25 pounds, which transfers into about 40 United States dollars. So with that being said, let's go ahead, hop into the review, going to go ahead and zoom in on the chest rig so you guys can see all the different pouches it has on it. All right, so as you can see, now zoomed in on the chest rig. First things first, as you can clearly tell, the chest rig is in tan. I believe they only sell it in tan now. If you guys remember back to the unboxing of this vest, it was supposed to come in olive drab, however it showed up in tan. I went back on their website and it appears they only sell the tan model now. You can buy a similar chest rig in olive drab, but it'll be a bit more expensive, uh, around 40 pounds as opposed to 25. Now as you can see the vest is coated in molly, part of the reason why molly is in the name. Molly's pretty nice to have on your rigs and your vests, all that different stuff because it allows you to customize your vest a little bit, put pouches where you want them, go ahead buy additional pouches and attach them to the molly on here. There is a little bit of a con with that being the people when they see their vest has molly they tend to think oh my god I can put whatever I want on here and just buy a crap load of pouches that they don't even need, even need so it defeats the entire purpose of having a lightweight rig. In my opinion, with the pouches you have on here, you really don't need to add anything here unless you just want to add a small utility pouch, possibly another magazine pouch, but otherwise there's really no need for the Molly. You have everything you want on here. The one area where you could probably put a pouch as well would be on the Molly and the shoulder straps. You can go ahead and attach a radio pouch. As for the pouches built into the vest, the first one is probably a little hard for you guys to see. It's the area here that is labeled Bull UK Field Equipment. This is actually a document secret pouch here. As you can see, there is a zipper. You pull it open, reveals a rather slender pouch that you can go ahead, store or maybe your wallet in, perhaps some documents if you're playing some sort of scenario game like that. Uh, the point is, it's a pretty secure pouch located behind your magazine pouches so you can store certain things you don't want to lose in there. Up front, the biggest part of the vest would be three open top M4 magazine pouches. These mag pouches are capable of holding two M4 magazines each for a total of six. They are open top. You can slide your mags in. You have the elastic band up top to let go and hold the magazines in place. As I said, two M4 mags to each, probably one AK mag to each. And if you really wanted to put MP5 mags in here, you can probably hold about three or four in each pouch. So you definitely get uh, ample space for magazines up front. You do have two additional pouches if you wanted to store even more magazines as well. Those being utility pouches located not only on the right, but also the left of the vest. These are fairly spacious. Unzip them to reveal fairly large compartment probably store a water bottle in there, a small bottle of BBs, speed loader, frag grenades, whatever you need to go ahead and put in there. They're basically just utility pouches, but they are capable of holding two M4 magazines each for a total of 10 magazines if you wanted to use everything to carry mags as opposed to extra accessories. The utility pouches are also marked with molly. This is probably where you'd want to attach more accessory pouches as opposed to having them hang down in the front on your mag pouches. So you do get plenty of pouches in the front of the vest. There's also a little bit of molly on the back of the chest rig as well. So if you wanted to go ahead and attach something there, such as a smaller pouch or a shotgun scabbard, you have the option. And truthfully guys, that's the chest rig up close and personal. Really not too much to it. It is supposed to be basic and lightweight. That's one of the advantages of having a chest rig as opposed to having a larger plate carrier, which is a bit more bulk. The chest rig is very light, especially in this case. I can barely feel that it's on considering there's nothing in it. And it also allows you to have a little bit more maneuverability in the field. Someone playing CQB, a chest rig like this might be a good option. It's a very nice chest rig. For the price you pay, $40 really isn't a bad price at all. I think it's completely worth the price. It's a great quality rig made of a high quality material. I've been running this for quite some time, being that I am an aggressive player, constantly diving, constantly hitting the ground. There is very little wear on the chest rig whatsoever. 
can get all the molly on it if you did want to attach additional pouches, but you have basically everything you need on here. Like I said, maybe a radio pouch, an extra mag pouch, maybe another utility pouch, but otherwise you get everything you need on here. A nice little secret sort of document pouch in the back, three open top mag pouches capable of holding two M4 magazines, and two utility pouches on the sides plus an additional molly in the back for the additional pouch or shotgun scabbard whatever you want to run so overall just a really quick video on the bull molly tactical lightweight chest rig it's a pretty good quality rig for the price you pay excellent quality in fact and really this is a rig although it has molly you don't need to buy anything else because it has the perfect amount of pouches and the perfect amount of storage space on it already so thanks for watching, guys. This has been Death Courier Soft's review of the Bull Molly Tactical Lightweight Chest Rig. Thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe.